Hi, this is Jay from Sport Optics, and we're here at the Schmidt and Bender booth with Dr. Hess, taking a look at the new offerings from Schmidt and Bender. Hello, my name is Karen Hess from Schmidt and Bender, and I'm head of the research and development department at Schmidt and Bender. And we are going to present you ten new products at Shot Show 2030. Um, and um, I'm going to start with the uh, 1 to 8 by 24 PM2 Shot Dot uh, CC, um, which is um, one of the um, new products of the Shot Dot um, product line. So the special thing about this is that it has an ultra wide um, red dot in the second focal plane, um, along with a reticle. Um, it's an illuminated scope um, with illumination mechanically turned on the left hand side. We have um, locking turrets on both elevation and windage. Um, you can just pull it up, you can adjust it to the value you want to have, and then you just push it down again, and then it's locked. Um, it comes in the full metal version as all of our new products will come. Um, the other thing is that it's very stable, temperature um, stable can be used on uh, various um, guns uh, with different ammunitions um, and the optic quality of course is the same as it's standard on Schmidt and Manuscopes. Which is outstanding. So, um, the second one is an extension of our new product line High Power, which has been introduced during last year's shot shift. Um, it's a 1.1 to 8x24. This one comes with a first focal plane reticle. Um, in this case, we have made a ballistic reticle with a horseshoe um, application. So um, when you dial down to 1.1 power, you actually have the situation that the horseshoe shrinks down to some sort of brilliant bright, um, bright dot. And when you dial up, you have the horseshoe um, where you can aim it with a roundabout a coverage of 20 centimeters on 100 meter in the circle. Um, and the 200 meter um, aim point is at the lower edge of the um, horseshoe. It comes with the same turrets as the other one and the same illumination and um, from the external design is of course the same um, as it is uh, from the same product line. Um, the next scale um, is another addition to the short dot um, product line which is a 1.5 to 8 by 26 scope. Um, this one is the first from the short dot, which comes on a 34 millimeter tube. Um, it comes with um, standard turrets, um, uh, which can, uh, which are adapted from the 3 to 12 PM2. Um, it's illuminated, has a red dot in the first focal plane, and along with the reticle, where various reticles will be available. It comes also in full metal version and with a um, very good field of view and a brilliant optical quality. And the thing which is very special is that it comes with a 26 millimeter objective diameter, which is quite good for a scope. Um, it has good light um, uh, values uh, in even light, no low light conditions. So um, now we come to the bigger scopes um, for the sniping applications. What we have here is a 3 to 20 by 50 PM2 ultra shot, which is the addition to our ultra shot line. Um, the special thing about this is that it comes with the same optical values as the 3 to 20 PM2. So um, the thing that we have done is that we have shortened the whole scope um, by around about 4 centimeters. Um, it will cover the final version also in full metal, this one still with a rubber ring. It is illuminated and the special thing about the turret is that it is a double turn turret um, with 35 MRATs of elevation uh, inside and it's lockable so you just push it down and you see the locked sign so it cannot be turned anymore. You can just pull it up and you can dial it. It has MTC clicks. Every tenth click is a little bit stronger. Um, and then it has a parallax setting of course very precise engraved from 25 meters to infinity. And then we have a capped windage turret which for tactical reticles makes it pretty easy to zero it in and then you can cap it well because you will probably never use it again. I really like this scope. It's a uh, little shorter than the other 3 to 20s and I really like the new short locking turret. That's it's a really so great the, addition. The thing is that the field of view is still 30 meters and it still has the 50 millimeter objective diameter which is quite difficult to accomplish when you try to design a scope like that. Yeah, and I mean it's shorter but it has all the capabilities of its longer brother. Yeah.
you never get the Never. 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 The next one is over 5 to 20 by 50 pm to ultra short, which had been introduced in the original version, which you can see here, as an unilluminated scope, um, which in total has a length of 30 centimeters, one by paper sheet. It comes with the same turret as a 20 now, the double turn turret, and it's illuminated. Also, for a metal version, same length, same parallax setting, same field of view, and a 50 millimeter objective diameter. <laughs> so then, on the next two ones, which belong actually together, we have decided to go to a new line um, on the PM2 scopes. This is the high power PM2 digital line. So um, the intention of this is that in studying applications, people ask us, is it possible to show something in the field of view? So the, the idea behind is that we have the possibility to plug in some external devices you see here the plug connection, and what what you will do is then that whatever is plugged in, some sort of laser range finding or ballistical devices, they are able to submit data and power to this thing, and then you can see in the upper part of the field of view, so that the reticle is not covered, you can see the information that you need for target acquisition. And the special thing about it is that when you plug it off, you just have the normal scope. The see-through impression is exactly the same as on the normal scope. Mm -hmm. And you have the fallback solution because it mechanically still works as a normal scope. You have the turrets and everything else available. We did this once on the 5 to 25 by 56. And the other scope where we did that is the 3 to 27 by 56 PM2 high power. Um, where the same thing applies. We changed the ocular. We still have um, the same scope in, in total. Then we have the plug-in connection. We have the two buttons for controlling something like brightness, manual control, or whatever is needed. Sure. So these are right now non-functional prototypes. Um, they are intended to show the advantage um, of new technologies and um, to show what the path is going on. Okay. Dr. Hess, when will we start seeing the new products? Excuse me? When will we start seeing them? When will they start shipping to the U.S.? Um, the, there are different delivery dates on the different scopes, so starting um, with the 1 to 8, which we have seen, um, the 1 to 8 uh, high power will be available from October. The 1 to 8 um, short.cc will be available um, from August on. The 3 to 20 will be available in October. The 5 to 20 illuminated by May. Um, those ones here are still prototypes for technology demonstrations, so they are not intended to be sold, okay. sold um, in the next few months. Um, the next new product that we have is the Field target, um, which is for the spot shooting application field target, um, which has been a complete redesign of the existing scope. So, mm -hmm. what we did is that we first of all changed the external features. So, we now have an engraved parallax where you can see here a knob which goes from infinity down to nine meters. Um, it's a very precise parallax and very temperature stable, so that when field target shooting and measuring, actually, you try to measure the distance. So you can really acquire the distance of 50 meters and you have not 47 meters, I think it's 50 meters, and that no matter which temperature you're working on. So we changed the, the wheel, which normally is screwed on with some screws which are going into the wheel. Yeah. We change that to a magnetic version. You just clip it on, it's holding here, and you will not fall it, so you can hold it along with the weapon. Um, the field of view has become bigger than in the old version. And uh, the other thing is, um, it's still a rather neat scope, not big and bulky. Um, we have gone to a 34 millimeter tube to have more elevation range available. We have gone to our Tiger Duck turret. So um, it's a double turn turret now. The windage turret is the standard turret as it was before. It's illuminated available and we have it in silver color or in black color. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. S. We really appreciate you going through the new products with us. Uh, and we'll have more to come. Thanks again. You're wonderful, thank you.